Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, had a tricky one. A front loader washing machine that wouldn't drain. This one was a Maytag, but this is typical. It is a little access panel that you can pull down. This one I just use a flat blade of my screwdriver. Tip it down. It's got a ins little instruction manual there that's helped a, a drain plug. And uh, what I do is tip it backwards and then uh, have my wet dry vacuum ready to go. And then back. And this uh, quick work so I was able to pull out pull out some money there, but that's not always the entire extent of the problem. Um, so I ran this one, uh, tried it again, but I wound up needing to go much deeper, and so that's what I wanted to show on this one. Uh, this one still, it, it did uh, run through, but it still just didn't uh, get the, the uh, items dry enough. They still were coming out pretty wet, so I knew it was time to go deeper. What is a kind of a collection bag? Here's inside the pump. Um, and on the left collection bag, a uh, couple different ways to get to it, none of them uh, particularly easy. Uh, this is through the back of the machine. You can see there's the drain bag there. Sometimes there's a little coin bag that collects it, sometimes there's not. Each uh, washing machine is a little different. This one did not have a coin collection bag, but I did find a bunch more uh, change inside the machine. They weren't very kind in where they positioned the clamps on this particular one. Was it was uh, difficult to impossible to get to the clamps that take off the bag. So I wound up just squeezing the bag and, and pushing the coins through, um, which is possible, and uh, which is how I fixed this one. That collection bag off, and there's like a coin collection bin inside there, and you can take that out. Uh, going through the hold it on, and then there was these funny clips. Um, that you have to push the button and then slide it over to the left or the right depending on which side the ones are on the right. You just follow the arrows there, push the button in and then slide it over. The button lifts up the back tab that has a, like a lock uh, on the tab um, and uh, that allows you to get it over and be able to get into the machine. Now again this one was a Maytag. Um, it's very similar for other uh, brands of, of front loaders. Uh, they, they all, most of them have these collection bags and then the little drain port access. And there's even a few top loaders. There's a GE that has that same collection um, bag kind of deal and pump assembly set up to where you can get in there and take out that plug and be able to pull coins out. So Again, this was not the easiest thing to get into and cramp quarters which is usually how it is everything tight quarters sharp edges sharp parts and uh yeah that one gave me what for to get it off yeah so this one was a bit tricky to get into a better view of the collection bag uh this one i was able to shake out the coins uh, a bit more money out of the out of the bag and uh, that's what had caused it so that w that's how I was able to fix it. Normally I'd, you know, again I'd take those clamps off and take the whole bag off but this particular one is it was positioned right up against the door. I did find out, figure out I could take off the whole front door assembly panel which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and, uh, but I, I didn't go deeper into that because I was able to reach up inside and then squeeze the bag and shake the coins out. So I didn't need to take off the entire door assembly. I just, um, it has a gasket inside and I didn't want to mess with taking that apart as I didn't need to. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, here's a couple more coins that I was able to pull out and then I could still feel something in there so I had to tip it around. And, and uh, you know, move the bag around. That, that definitely, definitely was a tricky one. So there's three screws here, and then pull the front, and then uh, squeeze the bag a bit better. Yeah, my camera flashed out footage as I would have liked. This is enough to show you the idea, show you what's going on with these machines, and how you can get your machine back up and running. A lot of times, just clearing the, the initial cup is enough but sometimes you do need to go deeper and clear out the bag, so. This one I was able to carefully pull out the front door and then shake the bag around to shake out the, the coins that were left over and get it unclogged. 
enough to get the job done. And restore the draining function, because that's what this was. Uh, so if you notice your machine not draining, that's a good chance it's, you know, an, it's an obstruction. Uh, the, the machine will try to drain first, and if it can't drain properly, then it won't uh, start the fill cycle and everything. So it's kind of a safety. A pretty nice design. Not the easiest to get into, but still pretty good design. Um, kind of wish they'd make it so coins wouldn't slip down, but anyway, got this one back up and running, back to normal. All right, so looks like 41, 91, 101. <laughs> All right, washing machine repair 101. <laughs>